Hello and welcome to the third installment in the Electrolube 2K conformal coating video series. In this video we will cover Spray Pattern Setup and Troubleshooting. Spray Pattern Setup is essentially identical, whether it be a 2K material or a more traditional coating, and technicians should have no trouble adjusting to using 2K materials. The only key consideration is the line spacing. Traditionally, solvent-based coatings are applied with a minimum spacing between coating lines, usually placed next to each other without overlap, relying on the low viscosity and surface tension of the fluid to avoid coating misses and reduce the applied film thickness. With spray materials in general, and 2K materials in particular, the materials are less likely to flow. It is therefore important that there is an overlap between sprayed lines, usually 40 to 60% dependent on the height of components being sprayed. It is also important to remember that if there is material in the static mixer during programming, each and every time the machine stops, you must purge the valve before continuing. How quickly can I move the board once sprayed? One of the major benefits of 2K materials over solvent coatings is that you can handle the boards immediately after application. This even allows you to turn the board over and coat the underside of the board within seconds of coating the top. Why does the material splatter? Purge, purge and purge again. If you find the material is splattering when it is applied, there are several possible causes. The first port of call should be the static mixer. If the mixer has been used previously and been idle for more than 10 minutes, it is possible the material has started to cure within the thread. Try purging the mixer for a few seconds to clear this blockage. If this does not work, then you may need to replace the static mixer. To heat or not to heat. The next possibility is that your material is not hot enough. We would usually advise that you utilize the valve heating function especially on filled systems. By heating the valve assembly, the viscosity of the material is significantly reduced, which enables the applied air pressure to spray the material more efficiently, with minimal overspray and excellent edge definition. You can further improve the efficiency of this heating by applying a thin layer of thermal interface material, such as Electrolube's HTCX, between the valve assembly and the heater block on the machine air pressure and material flow. For a given material flow rate, there is a wide continuum of atomizing pressures that can be used. However, as the atomizing air pressure is increased, then overspray becomes more and more apparent. If the atomizing air pressure is insufficient, then a material will just drop out of the end of the spray cap in a quasi-dot dispense pattern. It is worth highlighting here, as per our mention during the setup phase, the flow rate is always adjusted via the programming. The progressive cavity pumps control the flow rate of the fluid. Below a certain level of pressure on the reservoir, there is a chance that the flow rate of material to the cavities will be insufficient, potentially introducing voids or air bubbles, or reducing the volume of material to atomizing pressure resulting in overspray. Above the level at which you ensure the cavities are filled, there is no benefit in increasing the reservoir pressure whatsoever, you simply risk forcing air into the system or discovering the mechanical weak points. 15 to 30 psi is the usual recommended range for all materials. What if the mixer becomes blocked? It is unlikely that blockages will occur higher up than the static mixer. Until the reaction agent is mixed with the coating, it will not cure quickly. Therefore, blockages will almost certainly be in the static mixer. The mixer is disposable and has been designed for easy replacement. The progressive cavity pumps are equipped with pressure transducers that sense back pressure buildup to prevent the mixed material backing up into the cavities. The machine will error out rather than attempt to dispense material, resulting in the blockages causing any significant damage. How long can I leave the machine with material in place? Due to the fast curing nature of 2K materials, we would not advise leaving material in the machine for prolonged periods. If the line is due to be stopped over the weekend, for example, we would recommend that you purge the pumps of material and clean down the pump. 
For shorter stoppages, simply purging the machine for a few seconds and or changing the static mixer should be sufficient. Hopefully we have covered all your questions here, but if you have more, please don't hesitate to get in touch with our technical support team, who will be more than happy to help. Don't forget to join us for the final episode in the series, how and when to clean down your machine.